Oh, I am so happy. We are in the last three portions, the last three sections of mod installation, part five after this. We could finally merge it, then finalize it, and then play the game. Are you guys ready? Good. Let's do utilities. Create that separator. Copy. Uh, tiny wrench spanner, create separator. Paste it. Good. All right, Papyrus, modern scripting utility functions. This KSC plugin that allows you to save any amount of INT, float form, and all this other great stuff that smarter people understand that I don't. So let's install it because we need it. So files, I'm gonna go download the main file here. And look, there's a VR version. Okay, let's install it. Double click, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Now, file access interface for Skyrim SE scripts. This is an easy to use interface to save and reload in-game variables to and from file. Cool. Let's install it. Okay, we can download the main file here. Download it. And then install it. Okay, moving on. J containers SE. This extends Skyrim SE Papyrus scripts. Good, good. Download. Main file download. Oh, I always have to give props to people that do VR versions. Okay, double click. Okay. Let's activate that. Serio cycle hotkeys. The last players of map hotkeys are used in vanilla hotkeys to equip weapons, shields, and all that other good stuff. Let's install it. Files, mod manager download. All right, double click. Okay. Activate it, move on. Enemy. Evolution of Skyrim, or is that Revolution of Skyrim? Enemies will use spells, perks, items, shouts, which were previously limited to player only. Good, good, good. Some more, uh, hopefully, rewarding and challenging gameplay. Download it. This is going to be a full mod. Double click. Here's the full mod. Open up the full mod. Next, next. Oh, oh, so many patches, maybe. What do we got? All right, potions and shouts, those are good. Andromeda, Apocalypse, those are also good. Mm, let's click next here. Uh, we want Thunder Child and Sacrosanct. Okay, this first page is good. Click next, next. Uh, nothing here, so we're good. Next, next. Last words, install. Good. All right, we're done with that. Cool, cool. We blew through the utility section. Now let's do the consistency patches. So let's create the separator. Copy. Tiny wrench spanner. Create separator, paste, and okay. All right, Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn Special Edition Consistency Patches. So it's gonna be a main file. So we'll go to files. Here it is right here, Cons Consistency Patches. Looks like we got a full mod. Let's take a look. Boom, boom, boom. All in one install, next. Next, finished installation, install. Alrighty, very good stuff. Okay, consistency patches, ELE merge. This mod contains all the required consistency patches for the ELE merge. It's an optional file section. Go to files. All right, so we're looking for... Where are you? All right, did I just totally pass it? I guess I did. What are we looking at here? Optional, Lexi's legacy, legacy consistency. Okay, ELE merge. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I just... Yeah, Lexi Legacy of Dragonborn consistency patches ELE merge third one down, uh, third one down, and optional files. Mod manager download. Okay. Close this. Make sure we, we rename this. So consistency patches LAE merge. Cool, 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 cool. All right, more consistency patches. Weapons and armor merge. We've got two files here. Weapons and armor merge and weapons and armor merge level list patches optional section optional file section. So files. All right, here's weapons and armor merge, and here's the level lists. All right, so let's download both of those. Good. Now let's install these as separate mods. Double click, start with this one first. Weapons and armor merge, drop down. So weapons and armor merge, yep, that's the name we want. Now let's install the second one, drop down. Weapons and armor merge, level list patches. Good. Activate those. All right, Warmonger Armory Consistency Patch. Optional file section. It's probably the same page, right? Looks like it. So let's look for Warmonger. Starts with a W. There it is, Warmonger Armory Consistency Patches. Let's see if I need to leave that page open. 
Okay, so drop down, Warmonger Armory, Consistency Patch. Okay. Activate that. All right, Kaiden Consistency Patch. Boom. Go back here. Scroll up. There it is. Nope, there it is. Kaiden Consistency Patch. First option, optional files. Mod Manager Download. You know what? Just so there's no confusion or anything, I'm going to close this out. I'm always going to click on Download and open whatever page we need. So let's double click this, drop down. Kaiden Consistency Patch. Okay. All right, activate that. So now where are we at? Konox Accoutrements Consistency Patch. So download. Files. Now let's look for Konox Accoutrements Consistency Patch right here. Second from the top. In the optional file section, that is. Now let's install it. Let's rename it. Uh, Konox Accoutrements Consistency Patch. All right. Okay. Snazzy uh, Patches Merge Consistency Patch. Files. Go down till we see snazzy. Snazzy, snazzy. There it is. Snazzy patches merge consistency patch mod manager download. Double clickety click. Okay. Oh, no. Gotta rename it, JT. Good. Try again. Drop down. Snazzy patches merged. There we go. Let's activate that. Telgen Serious. Yeah, Serious consistency patch. Click on download. Go into files. Now let's look for Telgen. There you are. Children Serious Consistency Patch. Okay. Double click. Rename it. Children Serious Consistency Patch. All right. Children, why so serious? Talk Consistency Patch. Files. Let's go down. Tick tock goes the clock. There it is. Talk Consistency Patches. Yep. Tools of Kagranak. That's what that stands for. So double click. Drop down. Talk consistency patch. Okay. Activate. Weapons and armor consistency additions. Download files. Let's go down to weapons and armor. There it is. Weapons and armor consistency additions. Good, 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 good. Double click. <clears throat> Drop down. Weapons and armor consistency additions. Okay. All right. Let's right click, delete, install, downloads. Okay. Good, good. All right. I do believe this is the final section of Mod Installation Part 5. Oh, okay. Let's create the separator. Copy. Tiny Wrench Spanner Create Separator. Paste. Boom. Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn SE Omega Conflict Resolution. I think this is the big conflict resolution patch, right? So click on that. Files. Should be one of the main files, right? There it is, Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn SE Omega Conflict Resolution. The big cheese. Boom, let's rename it. So Lexi's, starts with an L, there it is. Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn Omega Conflict Resolution. Good. Boom, activate. Boom, next. Marthal City Overhaul's Conflict Resolution, main file. Files. Marthal, 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 there you are. Marthal City Overhaul's Conflict Resolution. Boom. Double click. Rename it. Look for Morthal. There it is. Morthal City Overhaul's Conflict Resolution. Okay. Activate. Solitude City Overhaul's Conflict Resolution. Files. So. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. What was it? Solitude. Okay. Solitude. There it is. Solitude City Overhaul's Conflict Resolution. Boom. Install it. There we go. Drop it down. Solitude City Overhaul's Conflict Resolution. And bam. Activate that. Now finally, White Run City Overhaul's Conflict Resolution. And yeah, we'll get to this in just a second. Main files. Boom. White Run. Mod, mod, mod Manager Download. It's tough. Double click. Drop down. White Run City Overhaul's Conflict Resolution. And yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes, guys, that's the final mod we're gonna install for the main guide. So let's clean this up, right click, delete install downloads. We're gonna go ahead and collapse these. Oh man, how glorious is this? All right, let's see what this special note is. It is highly recommended that you perform a backup of the work you have done on this page before continuing. No, seriously, make a backup. To make a backup, navigate to Mod Organizer folder on your hard drive, right click on the mods or profile folders and click copy and then paste to something like an external hard drive if you have one. 
Um, she is advising you to do this, so I would also advise you to do that. But having said that, I never do this. <laughs> uh, instead, whenever I fiddle with a mod list on my own or I'm making conflict resolution patches on my own or modifying something, I always make up a backup of whatever I'm messing with. But if you want to do what she is recommending here, what is she what she is talking about is what you're going to do is close out mod organizer. Oh, never mind this. All right, go into your mod folder. Uh, you will go into your mod organizer folder, and what she's talking about is copying uh, profiles and mods, right? But I would go so far as to say, you know what? Just copy the entire mod organizer folder because we installed it as portable mode, so you can copy and paste this anywhere you want. And all you would have to do is redirect like broken links or whatever, and you could make it work. So if you want to back it up, just right click on mod organizer, or you could do mods and profiles if you want. Click copy, go to whatever backup drive you got and paste it here or wherever. And then just wait the eternity it takes to <laughs> copy all that. So yeah, I'm going to call mod installation part five complete. You guys have done it. That is the heart of the guide, the meat of the guide. And uh, the next section is the merge page where we're gonna merge plugins. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what this new uh, prepare merge plugin, Mod Organizer 2 plugin does. I have a feeling this is gonna make life easier. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. You're doing great, you're almost done. Keep up the faith, you're almost there. The finish line is coming up. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much for following this series. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, have a wonderful day. I'm really proud of you. You have no idea. I am so freaking proud of you. All right, I'll see you in the next video.